Okay, so we're back in the greenhouse. So Norway is starting to open the borders again, which means me and my wife can travel back to Sweden where we actually come from. So we're probably gonna have a vacation. The immediate problem is that we just started a flower growing farm or like a small business. And if we're gonna be gone for two weeks, we need to find a way to, to water the plants. So at one point I was thinking, uh, maybe I should do one of those cool, uh, you know, with a raspberry pie and a pump and, and soldering and, and um, that, all that connected to my home assistant setup. Maybe do some set wave or, um, I don't know, um, just connecting a bunch of cool shit and, and making it accessible from, from my phone. Then I realized I don't know how to do that. And, uh, and frankly, I'm not that smart. So what I ended up with was just buying a, a ready-made product, a consumer product. Uh, instead of trying to hack it myself. So this is the, I don't know how you pronounce that, Gardena, Gardena, Gardena. It's a German brand, it's very popular in, in Europe and especially Scandinavia, I think, and probably Germany. This is some kind of smart controller you put on your, your water tap outside. And this is a hub you place indoor connected to Wi-Fi. And then you can control everything from your smartphone, which is very convenient. So that's just the base unit. And then you got this bad boy. So this is actually made for, for potted plants. I'm gonna use it in the greenhouse. I think we're gonna be fine. I have no idea how to hook this up. So this is just gonna be a learning curve for, for me and hopefully useful for you guys. And lastly, I managed to get hold of one of these. These are the, the smart sensor. So you just jam this into the soil and it's gonna tell you about the, the moisture contents and, uh, and the temperature of the soil. I think we should just get going and uh, hopefully we can figure it out. Let's go. This is where we're gonna start with the grip irrigation system and then we're gonna go all the way around. We're gonna go through the, the stairs and all the way on that side. That's the plan. Let's open this up. Oh, spam. Okay, that's the main connector. So this is the main line, I guess. These are the kind of drip belts. Connectors, more connectors. Oh, and then we have some kind of other drip thingies. Okay, we probably need a manual. Uh, uh, what? Okay, so I think I figured it out. Uh, this 15 meter main line uh, needs to go all around the raised beds. Then we're gonna use these ones and just cut this and put them on. And then we use the small line to connect to that one. And then we cut that at the, the length we wanted and then we attach like one of these. Yeah, we're gonna start with that. Ah, oh, come on. Reader. Okay, let's start hooking it up and we're gonna use these um, pipe holder thingies. Okay. There we go. I'm gonna attach one of these. Um, there we go. So that's about 30 centimeters. Right there. Okay, I guess that's how you do it. So keep going. And here we go. Oh, shit. Um, uh, stop, please. Great. Note to self for actually two things. First of all, if you're gonna try this, don't put a, a Canon M50 right next to it, because that camera is not waterproof. Second of all, try to figure out the angle before you start the system up, so... My pants are wet now. I got a fresh pair of pants on. So I had to go back to the store for the third or fourth time. Went ahead and bought one, two, three, four, five of these. Um, it's like flow regulators. 
because uh, what happens is when I plug in the, the either the 180 or 360 uh, sprinkler thing, uh, they're gonna get a full 1.5 bar of pressure, and I can't adjust that. I can just adjust. I can just adjust. Is that even a sentence? I can only adjust uh, the angle where where to point the the whole burst of 1.5 bar of water. But what I need to do is I need to regulate that so I don't spray the whole greenhouse with water. Uh, that's why I need these. So I need to unscrew this. No. Then I'm gonna put this on top. Starting the water now. Okay, that's good. 75. So now we need to connect um, the main line from that corner, take it through <laughs> this thick piece of wood and bring it out right over there. Yes! Okay, so I hooked up the line um, from the staircase to and around the corner, I added a small, whatever that is called. I can go ahead and, and use the, the small line. I chose not to film this because it involved a lot of curse words and a lot of blood, sweat and tears and me being super angry. So if you're going to install this system, keep in mind that uh, the thicker line, the, the half inch line, is it's very hard to get it into the fittings. I would suggest probably putting this up before you plant anything, so do it in the spring or something like that. Because when you're trying to do this without breaking your plants, uh, it's hard. It's really, really hard. So let's go ahead and, and wire these up. Also got the 360 sprinkler right there. So let's see how that works. Let's open this up. Oh shit. Okay, so now I'm gonna connect the kind of the brain of the whole thing. Let's do one of those ASMR things. <sighs> New stuff. And we're live. So I need to download the app. Um, let's see. There we go. Stalling. Okay, so the app is downloaded. Let's open it up. Oh, I need to sign up, of course. Let me just do that real quick. And I just realized it's all in Swedish. I guess it just sends the native language on the phone or the operating system. So if you understand Swedish, that's great. If not, um, too bad, I guess. It's doing an update. It, uh, it says it can take a few minutes. Gonna install this bad boy. Um, so I'm just gonna open the little battery thingy, like so. That's the one I have right now. I guess I need to replace this. Oh, I need a second adapter. And then I put this monster on top. I guess that's it. Yeah, that doesn't do anything. Oh, it says it needs three batteries. Three batteries? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so there was two missing. There we go. Now we have three batteries. Okay, there we go. I can probably turn the water on. This is the app, water control. And it's all in Swedish, but this button says uh, start and the other one says stop. 
So theoretically I should be able to just start the water now by pressing start and then I can start a manual irrigation period for 1, 3, 5, 10, 15, 20 or 30 minutes or I can enter a new one, uh, maximum 90 minutes. Uh, but let's just, let's say we start one minute. Oh shit! Okay. <laughs> Uh, okay, so, so the good news, it works. Uh, and you can also override it with this button right here. And this is used for, for starting and stopping the water manually if you just want to use a, a regular garden hose. So that's great. So I'm just going to go ahead and plug the plug that in. And now we can head back to the greenhouse and, and see if it works over there. Before we test the water system, I just want to sync this one up. This is the sensor I was talking about. Because that's very satisfying. Also has a marking on it. That's the minimum level you need to sink it into the soil. It's like half. I got the sensor right here. It's not close to one of the drippy droppy thingies. It says uh, it's close to 22 degrees. It says it's kind of dry, uh, but that was three minutes ago. So it's still analyzing. And it's also saying it, it could take up to 24 hours before it actually gives me the correct sensor data. Okay, so the system works great. Um, the soil is already kind of wet, so I can't test the system too much because I don't want to drown the plants. It's also raining a lot outside, I don't know if you can hear that. Overall, it's a few things I would like them to add, at least to the app. That would be that you can see how much water uh, that has passed through that kind of thing that I put in uh, on the wall, on the main tap. That would be nice. You can set a schedule based on time and date, how long you want the water to be on. You can also do it based on the moisture level of the soil forecast. Sunrise and sunset, you can, can also use those as parameters. It's kind of nice, but I still want some more statistics. <laughs> Oh my back, oh my back. Uh, I'm gonna do a full update when we're done with the whole system. I think that's all for, for this video. So I hope you got an introduction and, and kind of first impressions for me at least. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.